Okay, so again we find ourselves with an equation that we have to solve this time without a calculator and uh, we're giving here two sides that are equal and we see they're actually very close uh, or uh, to the same to the same answer however the one problem that we have is that if we wanted to make this a single trig ratio equal to a constant which is in the in essence what we try to do when we solve a trigonometric ratio is get a trig ratio equal to a constant okay but what if that's not so simple so for example you can see if I take everything to the one side and I try to add them together I can't because they have different inputs okay so the first thing I will have to do is make sure that I can't maybe simplify that input and here you can see we can use a reduction formula okay so in other words making everything um, positive acute and simple the interior angles make them positive acute and simple the second part that I'm going to try and do is change everything into cos and sine so maybe there's a tan in there and I'll, I want to get rid of the tan make everything into cos and sine and maybe there's some way in which they can then be added so only in the third step do we then instead of um, doing algebraic simplification we do algebraic simplification to get a trig ratio equal to a constant when we have that we can find the reference angle, ve angle very simply then from that follows the general solution depending on what trig ratio we have and then finally when we have the general solution and we have to get a specific solution we simply substitute k with the different values okay here what are we going to do in order to get these two the same well let's see um, what happens when we make the interior angles um, into into trig ratios um, sorry when we take the interior angles make them positive acute and simple well we're going to need our cast diagram and that's a very skew one but fortunately we don't need straight lines okay so that's plus or minus 360 this is either negative 270 or positive 90 this one is either plus or minus 180 and that one is either negative 90 or positive 270 so if I have negative 360 means I go 360 in this direction plus would be back in that direction so I'm first quadrant which means sine is positive in that quadrant so I get that a positive 1 multiplies the square root of 2 so I have square root of 2 sine of z okay on the right hand side 270 plus z so 270 is all the way here plus z means I'm in this quadrant so that's where cos is positive so unfortunately sine is going to be negative so this becomes a negative the square root of 2 I am however making an angle with the y-axis we'll always recognize that if that's a 270 or a 90 degrees whether positive or negative um, that will change sine into its co-function which will be cos okay so it does not matter that cos is positive here because it wasn't cos that was originally considered it was sine sine is negative and therefore negative 1 I had to multiply the square root of 2 so I have cos okay of um, that's what sine of 270 changes into and then just cos of z okay now it seems like I have a bigger problem than I had before because now I don't even have the same ratios okay that seems terrible well not really the one advantage that we have if we have a single term on both sides is that I can divide both sides with a cos of z okay divide both sides with cos of z and the reason why I do that is because then we see we have sine of z over cos of z so whenever we have two sides with one side we have a sine the other side we have a cos and the input interior angles are the same then I can simply divide with um, the cos to get tan okay so I'm also going to divide with the square root of 2 on both sides Okay, also dividing the square root of 2 on both sides to get the following answer I get tan of z is equal to and then we have negative 1 tan of z is equal to negative 1 uh, do you follow that well this just cancels completely with each other so everything divides into each other to give me 1 and uh, is a negative so it's negative 1 okay from here the reference angle we have to do without the use of a calculator not to use of Calvin without the use of a calculator Tan of 45 would have given me 1. Tan of 45 would have given me 1. So tan of negative 45 gives me negative 1. So my reference angle is uh, negative 45. And then my general solution is 
very very simple I love doing sine because it's uh, tan because it's so so easy the general solution is that ta um, that for tan Z is equal to okay the reference angle which is negative 45 degrees plus 180 times K where K is an in where K is an element of Z now one important point here would be to make sure that because we divided with cos because we divided with cos we are not allowed to have cos of z equal to zero and cos of z will equal to zero if z is equal to 90 90 degrees but if you look at this z can can never be equal to 90 degrees no matter what you replace k with okay but always just make sure that you don't somehow get to 90 degrees because in that case that part would be excluded those would be non-solutions okay uh, that's me for this question i hope you enjoyed it and i'll see you in the next video